Um, I mean, the sky's the limit for this offense. Just the, the guys that are here that have been here the past couple of years, um, we're especially here last year. We're just we're taking it up a level that we have in years past, and it's um you can just tell from the coaches' excitement um, to their attention to detail to how guys are um, reacting to their coaching. Uh, this this team is going to be awesome. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun on the offensive side of the ball. All, all that speed you guys have on the outside, what, what does that allow you to do offensively? <laughs> Anything we want to do, man. I mean, all the, you name it, man. We got 4-2, four, 4-3, four, maybe 4-1. I don't know what Tyreek runs now. Who knows? But he, uh, the, we, we, we got guys that can absolutely fly all over the field and speed kills in this game. If you got it, you're, you're, you're in the advantage. So. A couple of weeks ago, Sammy said it almost felt like you guys could be unstoppable. Is that the feeling you guys have in the offensive room? I felt like we were unstoppable last year. Uh, and it's all predicated on our mindset and how we attack the day. Uh, if we stay if we stay in attack mode, I, th I think right now I, don't, I can't see anybody stopping us. Um, that's just the confidence that I have in everybody and uh, the, the teammates and the coaches that we have here. Last year, at this point, you know, Patrick had never started a regular season game. You guys were confident in him because you've been around him for a while. How much more confident are you guys now in his abilities because he's done it for a year and his like leadership abilities to lead you guys? Yeah, I mean, you can't say enough about the guy. Pat's got it down, Pat. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> and, uh, we'll we'll just roll from there, man. He's gonna he's gonna take us. Uh, He's going to take the lead of this team, and, and we're going to go as he goes. It's just uh, that's just how how it rolls. And one five is uh, he's ready for every moment you can think of. What do you yeah, think? Does that help with training camp? Usually at this point, guys are ready to break. They want to get in their own bed. But when you see the potential and you see that speed, and it seems to be infectious and contagious, all that is that kind of helping with all that? Um, I would say the only thing that helps with training camp is these fans out here. Uh, they they give us some uh, some juice, some energy. Every time we come out here, we see some little kids calling your name. You know, you want to go out there and perform. Um, but at the, at the you, training camp is meant for the grind. So uh, anybody trying to get out of here as fast as they can uh, are in it for the wrong reasons. I feel like Travis, you guys' first drive last Saturday was real quick and effective. What's the next step the offense can take this Saturday? Um, just go out there and be us. Execute every play the the way it's designed. Um, and just play for each other. I mean, it's it's preseason, so there's things you you want to work on in terms of the technique, fundamentals, and putting it all together. Uh, keep building this this engine so that we're ready for week one. But uh, the the preseason games, man, you just want to attack it the way you, the way the coaches want you to, the way we talk about it in the in the offices. What's the rest of you playing alongside Blake Bell? Um, he's got some explosiveness to him, man. He's a he's a big body. Um, kind of a weird athlete like myself where it's not a traditional break here and there. He's got kind of like a, a, a very unique running style and in, 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 in terms of running routes and things like that. But uh, in the run game, him throwing his body around, not, not being shy of contact, that's uh, that's something that we could really use on this team. What do you think the competition between him and Deion Yeller kind of for that backup, that, tight, that second tight end spot? I'm so, who do I see? Yeah, how, how are you seeing that? Oh, I mean, the, just the entire tight end room. I mean, we've we've amped it up since even yesterday, uh, trying to get guys rolling and and, and the alertness and the uh, the decision making that has to be made in in the tight end room. I mean, as as just a skill player in this offense, you're getting tossed everywhere. So it's a lot to learn quick, um, especially in training camp when it's 103 and you're dog tired. Um, it's a lot to focus on. So it's just uh, th that's what this is for. I mean, just building that uh, that monster so that come week one, no matter who it is, uh, that we need to step up. They're ready for it. John Lowe was pretty involved in the offense before he got hurt. What are the conversations like that you've had with him since that injury in the preseason game? Just to stay positive, man. In injuries are, are uh, it's a, it's unfortunately it's a part of the game, but it's something that you got to get through and you gotta you gotta deal with. Uh, mentally and and obviously the rehab and the physical uh, aspect of it. I've dealt with them ever since I moved to tight end. I told John I was like I've had eight surgeries since I moved to tight end. Man, welcome to the world. <laughs> it's a, it's a, just a different game. You got to do certain things that that keep your shoulders locked in. Do certain things that keep your legs and hips locked in. To, you know you can withstand all the pounding uh, that this game has at, at the tight end position. And um, that being said, you know he's. He's, he's doing well. He's just uh, mentally, he's just got to stay in the playbook and, and be ready for his opportunity when he gets back out there. Who's the best quarterback in that tight end? 
The best QB? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, baby, eight seven. <laughs> oh, no. I have no idea. I don't think we'll ever know either. <laughs> what do you anticipate uh, the speed of the receivers and, and the running backs will do um, as far as opening the game up for you when it comes to the kind of Um, I have no idea, man. We've uh, we honestly we've never had this much speed here, so uh, I, I couldn't tell you what exactly is to come. Hopefully. Uh, we take advantage of those speedsters outside in terms of throwing them the ball, because uh, downfield getting getting the ball downfield is just going to open up everything underneath in the middle. And um, you know, I'm licking my chops, waiting for uh, any scraps I can get. That first couple more guys, you feel like you needed? Do you feel like you needed that to kind of feel like okay, I'm back to being myself? You know, that catch down the No, I, I I knew I was back to myself, and I'm ready to rock and roll, baby. Have you seen Tyreek Hill? Yesterday, you had that, what, 18 plays in a row, the heat and humidity. Was that the biggest grind of camp? Without a doubt, yeah. That was, I mean, it's just, there's nothing you can do with it. You, you want that in, in practice. I mean, I, I get it. I've been here. I've been fortunate. They've been asking me to come back to this place for my seventh year. So I've kind of understood Andy's and the coaching staff's mentality of how we're going to attack this and how we're going to get better. And, um, 18 play drives, 20 play drives at the end of practices, man. Those are the ones that 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 you find out who's who's got the gut for it, who's got the grit for it, and uh, who's got the focus to be able to get through everything mentally um, and still do the right things to still make the plays and things like that. So you need that as a group, as a as a team, and um, that was uh, that was definitely the hardest part of of uh, training camp so far. Is just uh, trying to get through that that. Padded practice after the first preseason game, you get, you know, you got three, you know, you got another one coming. You know, how are you mentally going to attack that uh, part of practice? And uh, sure enough, we came out of it, uh, I think, a lot better. Have you seen Tyreek Hill take another step this year? Yeah, I mean, he just looks a step quicker. I don't know how. I don't know if it's just, you know, I going from the end of season to the beginning of this one, um, and maybe not seeing him let it cut it loose. But uh, he's just his confidence just keep going keeps going up. Uh, and, and you're talking about a guy that went from running back in college to just about playing fully wide receiver in, in, in the NFL, and um, he's still learning too. I mean, it's a, it's a game where you can learn every single year and try and do something better. But uh, Tyreek is definitely taking his game to another level, and everybody will find that out. Have a good one, guys.